Hello, today's devotional can be found in the Bible Dictionary under Holiness. According to the Old Testament, things or places were holy that were set apart for sacred purpose. The opposite of holy is therefore common or profane. Okay, you're so much more than common people. We are so much more than profane people. We are better than we think we are. We are of great, infinite worth and value to our Heavenly Father in Jesus Christ. We are set apart for sacred purposes. Because we are children of God, I mean, we came to earth. And we forgot that we were children of God, but we can relearn it if we so choose. And we are truly set, we are holy because we are set apart for a sacred purpose. We have value to Heavenly Father. We are the greatest yet most complicated of all his creations. And some people have chosen to forget that they're children of God and have therefore decided to be common or profane depending on how much they've allowed Satan to influence them. And Satan would rather all things be common or profane. He doesn't like holy things because he himself was once holy. But he gave it up. He surrendered his right to be holy. It's actually, it was actually his privilege to be holy. He gave it up simply because nobody would go with his eternal plan. Because his eternal plan involved the robbing of agency and self-gratification, both of which Heavenly Father does not stand for. However, we came to earth we have the opportunity to choose whether or not to be holy, common, or profane. To be common is to just live a life of ignorance and not live up to the potential that Heavenly Father has instilled in each of us. To be holy is to embrace that potential and be happy that it's there and to be profane means knowing of the potential but rejecting it in, in favor of something that is more comfortable or something that makes more sense. Or something that's opposite of God, simply because Satan has influenced people to think opposite of God and act opposite of God. It's a complicated world, and it's getting even more complicated. The world and God used to be on the same standard, but the world has found little need for God because Satan has influenced them to think that way. And that's unfortunate. But we don't have to listen to the world, nor do we have to listen to Satan. We can remember that we are set apart for a sacred purpose. And we can rise above being common or profane because of the atonement of Jesus Christ. So, we can be better than we are. We can become gods because we are children of God. We just have to utilize the atonement and seek the help of the Spirit of God to guide us to where we need to be and where we can get to to be on the same level as our Lord and Savior. We should not be afraid to set ourselves apart from the world, for we have great potential. All of us do. We c it's fear that holds us back. Let's not have fear. Let's have faith in, our, in the value that Heavenly Father holds upon us and live up to the potential He sees within us.
Let us choose to do that. Let us choose to set ourselves apart. <clears throat> With that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.